You're listening to the Waltz World Podcast, brought to you by the Lost Bros Trading Co. Join your hosts, John and Kaylee, as they banter about all things Disney, including Disney parks, resorts, dining, fashion, and movies. They'll keep you up to date with the latest Disney news and rumors, and they'll share their best tips and insight to make sure you have the best Disney vacation possible. So to all who tune into this happy place, welcome. It's the Waltz World Podcast. What's going on, friends? It's Tuesday, July 17th, 2018, and this is episode number 13 of the Waltz World Podcast. I am Kaylee, and with me, as he is every week, the Chewbacca to my porg, John! (laughs) (laughs) What's up, everyone? I hope everyone's having an awesome week. How's it going, John? Good. I'm kind of weirded out Kaylee because our listeners are listening to this on the 17th or after but we're recording episode 13 on Friday the 13th I know it's like what? I feel like something's it's very spooky what? something's about to happen I feel like we should play some Mickey's not so scary Halloween party music or the tower of terror music oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. It's like, what happens if you Google, Google? Inception. Inception, it's crazy. Yeah, what does happen if you I don't you know, Google, Google. I'm too scared That's, to. Yeah, I don't like the way that sounds. Me either. But I hope everybody enjoyed me giving the intro. I think I did it way better than John. You did a great Let job. Let us know what you think. You did a great job. I'm very proud of you for that. It was really good. Very. That was energetic. like really hard for me. <laughs> it was. You should. If you guys could have seen her face, her face, like she was super tense and stressed about it. Anyway, so we are playing Would You Rather. So you could say, give two options. And then the person has to say what they would rather do or what they would rather not do. Or you can say neither. Um, I don't think it's I feel like it's cheating if you say neither. I don't know if we should do the neither part. You like you have to choose. We have to choose. That's what we're going with. You have to choose and you have to explain why you chose what you chose and why you didn't choose what you didn't choose. Right. Right. It's going to be very elaborate. Like, would you rather would you rather have a. A lifetime supply of McDonald's food. Okay, you can go to McDonald's as much as you want, but you can only eat the chicken nuggets. Ugh. Or would you rather have a um, lifetime supply of, like, you can go to McDonald's all you want, but you can only eat Big Macs? So you'd have to choose between the nugs and the Big Macs. The nugs. The nugs, the nugs. And it's so funny because, sorry, this is going to get off topic about the nugs. Sweet. But when I posted my 4th of July post in front of Casey's and I was like, what's more American than corn dog nugs? There was a couple people that commented, and I'm assuming they listened to this show, that knew that I said nugs and loved it and played along with it. So thank you for that. Was it your mom? Your mom and your sister? It was my mom, actually. (laughs) <laughs> Thanks, mom. Hi, mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she supports all my nug eating. <laughs> <laughs> AKA she buys it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I've got five and Kaylee's got five. So I'm going to ask her my five. She's going to ask me my five. And we can give our own opinions on what we would choose of ours if you want to as well. So don't. I think it depends on how like juicy the question is. Hmm. Mm. Because if it's like a really hard one for the other mm. person to answer, then I feel like it's only fair for both of us to answer, you know? I gotcha. All right, so do you want to go first or me? Me ask you? I'll ask you. I'll ask yeah, you, you go first because okay. you're the co-host today. I'm the so. co-host. <laughs> All right, so here's my first would you rather. Would you rather be... Okay, so you're locked in Magic Kingdom... Alone for 24 hours. Just you oh, for 24 there's like, hours. There's like okay. a whole story yeah. behind this. Okay. But you can only ride the railroad or the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover. Would you rather ride the railroad or the People Mover? Locked in Magic Kingdom for 24 hours alone. Would you rather ride the railroad or the Tomorrowland People Mover? 
the Tomorrowland People Mover because the railroad what? goes by the railroad goes by woods first of all, and I'm not trying to do that for 24 hours in the dark by myself. And second, it's more the People Mover is more comfortable. The railroad has wooden benches as the seats, whereas like the People Mover, I can like maybe stretch my legs out and lay down. I don't know. I feel like I would be really scared either way because being trapped in a park alone for 24 hours through the night just sounds really terrifying to me but definitely people mover i can't believe you said people mover like i did this specifically I said knowing that you hate it i almost chose the train just out of my pure hate for the people mover but if i'm being realistic for 24 hours like i'm not trying to go by woods and like that's just kind of creepy to keep right i don't know it's just it would be very creepy is it not way. creepy going through space mountain in the complete darkness though Oh, yeah. It would just, I, I, it wouldn't be fun for me to do that alone. That's a tough <laughs> question, though, because they're both basically you just ride around in a circle. And yeah, I might be able to fall asleep a little better on the people mover, though. I mean, because it's so boring. It's just very easy to do that <laughs> anyway. So, oh, uh, man. But I think, like, with the railroad, you'd get to see stuff, though. Like, the people mover, you would be in Tomorrowland only. Yeah, but the woods, like the woods just really freaks me out. Like you're oh I feel gosh. like you're more exposed to like creepy things happening where like the people movie you're kind of in your own little thing. I don't This I don't isn't know. a goosebumps book. I mean this is I just I don't I can't picture myself enjoying being there for twenty four hours by myself. Like, okay, during the day in the daylight, I mean are there cast members there? No, you're alone. Yeah, no. That would not be fun. It'd be amazing. The music's still playing. Yeah. yeah, maybe if like for a couple hours, but I don't know. And I couldn't get off whichever one I chose like that. No. I would definitely never ride the people mover again after that. <laughs> I mean, you'd have to pee on it. Um, no, I could probably hold my pee for like 24 hours. I work in restaurants. We hold our That's pee insane. for very long times. That's insane. I would choose the people mover just because I love it. End of discussion. No okay. questions about it. All right. So my first one is, would you rather never ride Big Thunder again or never ride Fly to Passage again? Oh. And I chose these two because I feel like it would be hard for you to choose between both. Because I know you really like both. So. I wouldn't be able to ride one of them the rest of my life ever again. I had to choose. Like the rest of your life ever again. You had to choose one. I would choose to not ride Flight of Passage. That would be the one I would choose to not ride. Just because, like, it's the same thing regardless. Like, it never really changes. But with Big Thunder, if you ride it at the day, it's different than if you ride it at night. Um, so I feel like I would never, I would give up Flight of Passage. Plus it's newer. And so like, I'm not as attached to it as I am with Big Thunder nostalgia wise. Um, I would definitely give up Flight of Passage. I mean, it's awesome. I love it. The smells are cool. Um, we're just talking the ride, right? Not the, we're not talking about the queue. We're just talking about the ride. Yeah. Just okay. the ride. Um, the wind in my face feels good, but I get that on Big Thunder. The theming is cool, but the ride, I think I would eventually just get super, super nauseous if I rode Fly to, if I could only ride Fly to Passage and not Big Thunder. Well, I mean, it's not like it's the only ride you could ever ride again. Oh. You know? Like, oh, you would still be able to ride all the other rides in the park. Yeah. You just couldn't ride It would be Fly to that. Passage. Because it's great. I love it. But I think eventually it would just get really just kind of like outdated and I'd See, be like, "Ugh, I wish I had big thunder for me. I would choose to not ride big thunder because I could go to Disneyland and ride big thunder. And I didn't say that you couldn't <sighs> ride it at Disneyland. So if there's that little loophole, Disneyland does not have anything like Pandora, like flight of passage. So although I'm here all the time and I can ride big thunder all the time to still be able to ride it in Disneyland, I'm getting rid of big thunder at tricky. Walt Disney world. That's not fair. That was a trick. I know. You I set just me threw up. a little loophole for you myself. Set me up. I did. I did. But you just, you didn't think about it well, long enough. I didn't think about it. Cause it was a, that's a, that's not fair. Whatever. There's always a loophole. Okay. Fine. Fine. <laughs> all right. 
My next one. Would you rather have unlimited fast passes for life or free dining plan for life? Ooh. No, this is easy for me. Um, unlimited fast passes because I don't know what it is about Disney food, but I get sick on it a lot. And like, I mean a lot, like I get sick. So I think I would rather have the fast passes because I could eat outside of the park and be just as satisfied. Like I literally, I feel like I'm the only person in the world who gets sick off of Disney food so often because I see all these Instagrammers and everybody that just eat it like all day, every day. Like it's their day job because it kind of is. (laughs) But I just, I, I could live like, I mean, I could still eat there. Like I just wouldn't have the dining plan. So if I wanted to, I could still eat there. I would definitely rather have unlimited fast passes for the rest of my life. But if you think of it like you could eat anywhere for free at Disney. Like Yeah, but that's that's fine, but I just don't I don't know. I don't know. I it, it's a little hard because I I don't want to say that I don't go to Disney for the food because I do like the food, but I just get sick off of it so often that it would be I would be fine if I just went to the restaurants that I went to every once in a while and just paid like full price for it or got my annual pass holder discount on it. I don't know. Definitely fast passes for me. We're talking even what snacks. What would you choose? Even snacks, Kaylee. Even snacks for free. Forever. I think I get the most sick when I only eat quick service and snacks. <sighs> like I don't know. I need people to message me and tell me if they get sick off of Disney food because I feel like I'm crazy, but it's almost like not almost every time I go, but it's pretty often that like I get sick. That's crazy. I wonder if it's like the oil they cook things in or something there. Uh, no. Yeah, That's I weird. have I have no idea what it like, is. Like even if you eat the ice cream as a snack or something like that, you still get sick? It's not every single time, but there has been enough times for me to know that I like shouldn't eat whole meal, like eat every single meal at the park. Like even when Cheddar Biscuits Cheddar Biscuits and I stayed for Toy Story Land, we brought like sandwiches into the park and we almost never do that because we're not at the parks all day, but we did that because I get sick. Huh. Like and I'm talking like <laughs> like I get sick. Yeah. Jeez. So I hope that doesn't happen when I go to Disneyland cuz like I'm planning on Ooh. eating every single meal. But yeah. Well, the food's amazing at Disneyland apparently, so Right, so I kind of have to suck it up, and like, if I puke, I puke. But. Yeah, just <laughs> puke and start eating again. Exactly. Don't want to waste so. that, that time there, Kaylee. So you would choose dining package? I don't know. This is a tough one, though, if you think about it. Like, if you for those of us that don't get sick when we eat at Disney. <laughs> like, because I enjoy eating at Disney. That's one of the things I look forward to is eating at certain places, like the Garden Grill or uh, at Casey's or Pecos Bill. But that's the thing, like, you could still eat at those places, you would just have to pay. And, okay, even though you're choosing the fast passes over the unlimited dining plan, you didn't say that you couldn't use the dining plan when you stayed there. You can still, but I'm thinking... Or is that like a catch? No, no, no. I'm not trying to trick you like you tricked me. Um, In my head, I'm thinking, like, if I did the dining, if I got the unlimited dining plan for the rest of my life, I would save so much money that I could afford to go more and... And not have to worry about the fast passes? As much. That was in my head what I was thinking my answer would be. But the unlimited fast passes for life would be incredible. But I think at the same time, like, it's great to have fast passes, but there's sometimes, like, you can overdo something. Like, if you had unlimited fast passes, that means you could ride the same ride over and over and over and over and over and over again through the fast pass line. Well, that doesn't mean that you have like you have to do that though. It's just the option. Like if I go to Magic Kingdom one night and I'm like, oh, I really want to ride Seven Doors. It's just to be able to have that option for me, which is why I chose it because I don't always have that option. Or especially now with like Slinky Dog, and I'm sure next year with um, Galaxy's Edge opening up, like the fast passes are going to get harder mm-hmm. to get. So I don't know, just thinking in that way, like it's not, I'm not saying that I'm always going to use fat because there's days that I go to Disney and I don't even ride anything. So, I mean, yeah, there's days that we, when we're there, we'll ride, we'll use our three fast passes and be like, we'll get those done by like noon and then not ride anything else the rest of the day. 
because we're yeah. like doing something else or we're eating or, you know. Because that is how you get burnt out is if every time you go, you're doing the same thing. So I definitely wouldn't treat it that way. I would just use it when I want to get on a ride that I can't always get on, like, you know, frozen or something like that. And I didn't say anything about like your friends or people you're with having unlimited fast pass. So it would just be you with the fast pass. Right. Which would kind of stink, but at the same time, I mean, beggars can't be choosers. So <laughs> that's true. That's true. I think I would do like the you- dining plan though. That would be, that would be my choice just for the money okay. that I would save. Cause I mean, you save yeah. 75 bucks a day if you do the midi- the middle dining plan. Yeah. I mean, I, I could see both sides if you don't get sick off of it. <laughs> yeah. If it say. doesn't make you vomit <laughs> ferociously. <laughs> Oh, gosh. That's disgusting. Okay, so this kind of ties into what we're talking about. It's literally snack and ride related. So, and I'll explain it a little bit after I read it. Would you rather eat the same snacks every trip or ride the same rides? So literally every single trip, you would have to ride the same rides or eat the same snacks. Like you couldn't switch it up, so you'd have to. You could choose your three fast passes, mm-hmm. or your three snacks, whatever the dining plan offers, mm-hmm. and you would have to eat or ride those every single trip, and you couldn't switch it at all. You can't use fast pass. You can't wait in regular queue. You just have to do those. Just have to do it. I think that I would, because I'm trying to think. Like the snacks I eat, the snacks. There's certain snacks I'll eat every single time. So, like, I will always get a Dole Whip. Will, but you always ride the same rides every time because you ride almost every ride when you come. Right. I do ride every ride when we go. Exactly. Um, so. Except Astro Orbiter. That is just a death trap. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's, like, on the surface of the sun. So, I think that I would do, I would, <sighs> that's really hard. Because because if they come up with new you would snacks, get sick of like it. If they come up with new snacks, you're not allowed to, to try those because you have to do the same one. So I think I would, but the same with the rides. Same thing with rides. Oh my gosh, I just made this so much more complicated now. I think that I would do the same snacks every time because if I did the rides, I think I would much rather want to, I would much rather ride new rides than to eat a new snack. I completely agree. I would do the snacks also because I could live without the snacks for sure. Mm-hmm. I can't, I couldn't live without trying a new I ride. So I think that's what I, I think it boils down to more about which would you rather try new things of rides or snacks. And I think, right. And that, rides. that's definitely, yeah, that's tough. And, but I could see people choosing, snacks over rides at the same time oh, yeah. i think it just depends on what you know what you like when you what, go to the park yeah i mean if you're not a if you don't like roller coasters then you might would rather do eat the ride the same rides and have new snacks um yeah uh, that's true hmm which what snack what is your number one snack if you if you could only eat one snack at disney world the rest of your life what would it be Mm. You could eat no other snacks, just this one. Oh my gosh, that's so hard. No. Dole Whip. I'm trying to think. I was going to say Dole Whip, um, but I'm trying to think of something that's more unique, that's harder to find outside of Walt Disney World. But I think... Because the pre- like, I feel like so many people say their favorite snack is a pretzel, and like you can get that pretzel at the movie theater. Like pretzel, a pretzel's <laughs> a pretzel. I'm sorry, I I don't like pretzels. I mean, they're fine, but it just tastes like salty bread. Yeah, like, I, don't know why I think, think it's amazing. They smell better than they taste. I th- I think I would probably do the Dole Whip as well, just because it was my favorite ever since I got it. The float, not oh, just what the, the float. You don't like. You don't like the float with the pineapple juice? I like pineapple juice, but it's the pineapple juice is warm. It's like no, lukewarm. It's, it's not cold. What? Every time no, I've gotten the float, I've never had it's that lukewarm. problem. It's always lukewarm. So you just always get the soft serve in a cup? Yes. Keep it classic. Okay. I mean, the float? 
It's lukewarm. Yeah, I, it's lukewarm. Me and Cheddar Biscuits really like the flow, and sometimes we ask for extra pineapple juice. So, the when you get it, it's cold. the 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 liquid the the pineapple juice is cold. Yeah. I've never gotten it. I've never I've never drank it and been like, why is this hot? Or why is this lukewarm? I've never noticed that. If it was cold, I would totally get it as a float. I don't but every, know. Literally, I I've mean, gotten it maybe four or five times, and it's always been lukewarm. That is crazy. I don't think I... I really don't think I've ever had it lukewarm. Wow. Even with the soft serve hitting it, it's still... Yeah, that it doesn't make the sense. soft serve even more, though. Like, because I like the soft serve so much, it melts it faster if you... Yeah, I mean, I like I like both. I mean, I could do the float or I could do the cup, but we just almost always do the float because we like the pineapple juice. But although I feel like yeah, these, no, I've never noticed it. I feel like the new cheeseburger. Well, they're not new; they just brought them back. The cheeseburger egg rolls. I feel like I'm gonna love them so much, like love them. I feel like that would be something that I'm gonna get sick on, but I'm definitely gonna try it. Gosh, like seeing all these. People. I also get really motion sick as well so i think this all kind of plays in together like i have a weak stomach already mm. and then if i'm getting on rides it's just it all just is maybe eating a huge meal at casey's and then getting on space mountain is not a good choice for you definitely not <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's what it boils down to maybe you need to wait your 30 minutes before riding a ride yeah maybe i mean i've never puked at disney I puked at the hotels. <laughs> After you eat it, so when you eat at 50s Primetime Cafe at Hollywood Studios, before you leave, the waiter... I puke before I go in there oh because gosh. it just disgusts me that The waiter much. and waitress always say before you leave, they're like, no tower for an hour. Ugh. Yeah. No. I love that place. I can't believe you don't like 50s Primetime. Why don't you like All right. it? No, what? No, no, no. We're going to talk about this. Why don't you like 50s? I, I, don't, I don't like the style of the food. I think the theming is amazing. I don't like the type of food they serve. That's it. I American? don't like meatloaf. I don't like fried chicken. What? It's funny because I was talking to one of my coworkers today because I love Turkish food. Like I love, I feel like I was born into the wrong culture because I love all these different fu- foods. And sh- we were talking about her birthday and she's like, I was like, oh, where are you going for your birthday dinner? She was like, I don't really know because all of my friends only want like fried chicken or hamburgers. And I'm like, that is literally not me. Like, I feel like every American is just like all about fried chicken and hamburger. Like, I can't eat that stuff. It seriously like grosses me out. You don't like hamburger. You don't like cheeseburgers. I, okay. I like cheeseburgers, but I don't eat them on the bun. I cut them up like with a fork and knife. So it's basically like just beef. Right. And I, it's, I have to crave it and it's very rare that I crave it. I mean, if I, cra- if I'm craving it, will I go eat it? Yes. But I have to crave it. So like you don't go to five guys fr- burgers ever. I've never been to five oh guys. Oh my gosh. What is happening? This show is off the rails. Yeah. I've never been to five guys. And then same thing with fried chicken. The only fried chicken that I semi like is Publix fried chicken, but I would rather not. So what do you get at, at Chick Fil A? When you go to Chick Fil A, what do you get at Chick Fil A? Oh, well, I get the nugs. <laughs> That's fried chicken. But it's different. Like it's different. Let me tell you this: my eyes were opened this week to some. I eat every everything at Chick Fil A. I've eaten except the the chicken strips because I was just like, I was always just like hey, it's just the chicken nugget. It's just a bigger version of that. No, it's completely different. It is completely different in my mind was blown we went there for cow day and blown by like you liked it yes. or blown by like it tastes oh, completely I don't like different it. than the nuggets it do. tastes completely different but i almost i never get them i i all i get the same thing every time i go oh so i i i mix it up but now i've added now i've added it to my list of go-tos because it tastes completely different it just blew my mind sorry sorry i had to go there we should stop talking about Chick Fil A. My mom calls us out all the time. She's like, "You guys get so off topic." And she was talking to my dad at dinner tonight. She's like, "They had a whole rant about Chick Fil A." I'm like, "Oh, my seriously, gosh. mom? Mom? She's listening to this right now. Like, mom, <laughs> this is our podcast." She also wanted me to tell you that her nickname is Sally, That's and my she dog's likes that your dogs. Yeah, I know. She was like, I didn't know that they had a dog named Sally. I'm like, yeah, I think it's because of the Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, was she named after Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas as well? 
No, her name's Sarah, <laughs> but her nickname has always been Sally. That makes sense. <laughs> All right, Sarah Sally. We're going to spend the night, the entire night, in one of these two rides, okay? So would you rather spend the ni- the entire night... <laughs> what? All your questions are like about me being alone at the parks, and I'm not here for... This is just, a, just the night, just an overnight. Okay. Okay. So would you rather spend the entire night in the Haunted Mansion, or would you rather spend the entire night in the Hollywood Tower of Terror? <gasps> Yeah. Tower Tower of Terror, hands down, because I would punch myself in the face if I had to go through the Haunted Mansion that many times hearing the same I didn't say thing over I didn't say you were again. riding it. You're just in it. Oh. You could ride it. It's just you're in the ride, you're on you're in the show building. You're in there. Am I like but am I like sitting in the dune buggy all you night? You can sit in the dune buggy. You could go in the graveyard scene. You no, could... still, still Tower Terror because I heard that the haunted mansion is actually haunted. So mm. I'm doing Tower of Terror. Hmm. Tower of Terror, just because it's haunted, just because the mansion's haunted. It's supposedly haunted. I mean, it just depends on what you believe in, honestly. But it's supposedly. I don't. I don't know if it is or not. Would you rather be stuck in the life of Donald or Goofy? Wow, you kind of threw me now, off. Now, Donald, Donald is a little, like, I feel like he's always in a bad mood because he's all, pranks are always being played on him mm-hmm. by, like, Huey, Dewey, Louie. Goofy is very ditzy. So, which one, like, would you rather be so stuck in So glad you explained of? what those characters are like because I had no idea. I'm so glad I did too because I just wanted to give you the overall feel of okay. what you'd be getting yourself into. So with Donald, you would have to walk around pantsless and be okay with that first off because he doesn't wear pants. Well, you have fur. Secondly, with Donald <laughs> That's though, not even important. you would have Daisy. So okay. that's some companionship. Yeah. A female duck friend to be with but you got the anger about, issues you got the anger issues what about clarabelle is that a thing is like goofy and clarabelle a thing is that how that because clarabelle to me is the most pointless character in disney like disney no yeah she kind of annoys the hecky out of why me. is she like, in really the halloween parade when i go, when i got her in the pajama pin set during christmas time last year <laughs> i almost stopped collecting <laughs> pins because i was so infuriated she is the worst. Why is she? Why does she have her own float in the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Parade, like the Booty Parade? I have no idea. No idea. No idea. Like, is there? Are we? Anyways, do, choose. Do they not have better characters to choose from? Yes, they do. It's stupid. Every time she comes, I boo her. I boo her. Her float. Wow, that's very much. Because it's of stupid. You. <laughs> okay, okay, choose the life with Goofy. You got pants. You got a cool son, Max, but you're yep. you're just a goofball and you laugh obnoxiously. But with Donald, you have a really bad accent, so you may have a hard time people understanding you. Uh, which, by the way, the new person that does Donald's voice makes it really hard to understand. But oh man, I think I would be Donald because I freaking love Donald Duck. Like I love Donald Duck so much. I love Ducktales. I feel like his life is a little bit more interesting as well goofy's so carefree though like he's just kind of like whatever goes and just whatever yeah that would be nice but i think the real the 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 thing that pushes me over is the fact that he has that donald has daisy because daisy so you're not alone but he also has huey dewey louie and like uncle scrooge has max uncle scrooge right so, I mean, they both have people in a sense, but it just depends. And what is Goofy? Is he a dog? Is he a cow? Is he a dog cow? He's Goofy. Like, what is he? Okay, so you chose Donald. Donald, because he's awesome. And Daisy, if I was a duck, I would totally date Daisy. I don't think you could handle her sass. I married a, a human <laughs> version of Daisy. She's a walking embodiment of the sass that Daisy has. I think 
I think I would be Donald as well. Copycat. Just because, yeah, because I'm a copycat. Exactly. No, just because I feel like his life is a little more interesting. Like I said, he has a lot more to like play off of with the nephews, with Scrooge, Daisy, and Goofy. I don't know. He's so tall and big. Like, I just <laughs> what do you don't. have against tall people? Like, what's I have wrong nothing with tall against. People? Literally everybody is tall compared to me. LeBron so, James, I hate him. He's so tall. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal, Yao Ming. It would. Uh-huh. I'm just saying it would be like a really weird. I mean, it would be a weird transition regardless. But to go from being my like, I I don't know. That's and what you're just, focused on the transition. Yeah, because that's just like a. And I would be going from female to male, and that is just a big thing to commit to. Live anyways. your truth, Kaylee. Just so, I think I would rather be a furry duck <laughs> for the rest of my life than somebody... We don't even know what Goofy is. <laughs> so. Yeah, we don't know what he is. No one knows. I know. I, He's I a goof. Know. I don't know. He's a goof. Which, He's you know what? Goof. This has made me... I'm going to watch a Goofy movie tonight just because we've been talking about Goofy. It makes me want to watch. Which is... Yeah, is it on Netflix still? It's not. A very, or extremely goofy movie is, but you can find it on like Movies Anywhere app. It's on there to download. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready for this one? It has nothing to do with being overnight somewhere, so if that makes you feel better. I just don't like being alone in the dark. So. <laughs> Would you rather swim in the Echo Lake area at Hollywood Studios? That's where the big dinosaur is. Right. Or those lake pond areas in Epcot. Not like the big, huge body of water in the inter- around the like the International or the World Showcase, but like those two where they have like the nice flowers. Flowers, that, yeah. That, those two water. So which one? Echo Lake or those pond – I don't – do they have names? I don't think they have names. Those pond lake areas there in Future World. Well, like – I need more details. Am I just taking a, like a leisure yeah, swim? Yeah, you're just going to go swim, hang out in the water. Which one would you rather swim in or take a take a dip in? Uh, mm. I think Epcot because it's just like a little bit more relaxing and calming. If I was with <laughs> if I had a family and I was with my kids, I would probably choose Hollywood. But if it's just me like relaxing, like I'd bring a little flow, go in Epcot, float around, get some sun. I would do that. <laughs> Float around, get some sun. But I wouldn't risk being kicked out of Disney to do it. So if that's like a catch on this, no, like count no me catch. out. Like you're just allowed okay. to do it. Which one would you want to do? Yeah. Yeah, definitely Epcot just because of how relaxing it would be. Interesting. Is there fish in that one at Epcot? I think there's fish. Is there fish in there? I would assume. Hmm. That might be a deal breaker for me. What the heck? I don't swim in oceans or lakes. What? Yeah, I don't do it. You don't know what's in there? Have you seen mm. Finding Nemo? The fish with the little yeah. light on its head? Uh, excuse me, that is creepy. Excuse you? What are you, like a marathon swimmer? You're not swimming out that deep to where all that stuff and is. What about in uh, Finding Dory? When that that electric octopus thing? Like, what the heck no oh my god swimming in that so not weird. happening i don't get in the water the ocean krista and i went for our honeymoon to jamaica one year anniversary went back to jamaica did i get in the ocean no does she get in the ocean no what it is gross <laughs> Oh, it's not gross. It's gross. It's beautiful. I love the ocean. And I love... So you don't do like any sort of like springs or lakes or anything like that? No. no. I'll go on the lake. I will jet ski. I've done tubing, but it will take an act of God to throw me off that tube. I don't care what you do. I will hang on just so I don't have to get in the water. <laughs> oh my God. Especially God. around here where we live, we live in Oak Ridge. So like Oak Ridge is where like the atomic bomb was started, created was, was started and all that stuff. And so like radiation stuff and you never know There's like, what's floating around in these lakes here. Fish with like four oh. eyes and 
There's amoebas in the lakes in Florida, so I don't go in there, but... That's so gross. That is... And just the thought of a and fish, this, like, coming... Oh. It, they don't bother you. Hello, be one with nature. Uh, hello. The springs, I, the springs I love because of the nature side of it, but the water is so cold, I really don't like swimming in it. But the ocean, like, how can you not love the ocean? Like, I feel like I'm living my best life when I'm at the beach. I love the beach. I don't like the ocean. <laughs> That's just so. I will look like, at what it. Do you, so what do you? You just scorch. You don't cool off in the I'm water. A pool guy. Give me a pool. Okay. But here's the thing. Like I can't do the, like the public pools very well. Like I have to be like. <sighs> oh my god! You germaphobe. <laughs> it's just like kids. If there's kids in the pool, they're peeing in it. They're poop. They're I'm pooping peeing in it. In it. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. What is happening with you? <laughs> that is so oh. gross. And then you just swim around in people's pee? Like, John, it, that uh. doesn't happen, though. Like, people teach their kids. Like, and you can't live your life like that. Like, come on. <sighs> Get in the dang ocean. <laughs> I would swim in the Echo Lake because it's super clear and it just looks in Hollywood studios is so freaking hot and that I like the music. The music is very calming, but the only thing now I'm, I'm just thought of this, the star Wars, the March of the first order thing, that would be annoying as crap to have to hear over and over and over. That's what I'm saying. Epcot would just be Epcot a lot be more, more relaxing. And I love the music at Epcot that plays more than the Hollywood studios. So I would choose, I would choose Epcot now that you say that. Okay, so would you rather marry Cinderella or Snow White? And you couldn't get divorced, so you'd have to be married. Oh my like gosh. the rest of your life. Okay. Snow White, pros and cons. I almost put, I almost put Ariel, but then I was like, no, because I know that's his favorite, and <laughs> yeah, he's just going to choose my, Ariel. So I was like, choice. let me put two that aren't but like. But Daddy, I love him. Um. Snow White, pros and cons here. Snow White. She's really, really old, right? Like, is age, or are they just the age they are in the movie? Like, that's what we're talking about, right? We're not going to, like, get deeper than that. We're okay. not getting deep to, like, when the movie came out, that's when they were born. And that, no, we're just whoever they are in the Snow movie. Snow White comes with a lot of baggage. She's got these seven short people that are, like, attached to her. So, like, what do you have against dwarfs? I have nothing against dwarfs. It's just, like, that's a lot to deal with. Plus, this evil queen that's always out to like kill her like that's intense that's a lot plus her noise her okay. voice is so annoying like if you just listen to it it's so so annoying okay. cinderella cinderella those were cons for snow white cons for cinderella would be she talks to mice mice are her friends My, mice <laughs> carry disease rats carry diseases she has a fairy godmother who just butts in all the time. Like, okay, you just pop in all the time. All right, don't worry about Colin first. They're just popping in. No. Con, Cinderella is all about shoes and like fancy expensive shoes, obviously, because a glass slipper, that's not cheap. <laughs> Snow White, did she even wear shoes? Yeah, she wore like little flats. So it's kind of like you got Cinderella, who's like a high maintenance, and then you got Snow White, who's like your outdoorsy chick, right? Like the more like want to go camping. Cinderella's more of the hotels, room service type. So, hmm. I think I would lean more towards Cinderella just because I think Snow White's voice would eventually just make me want to rip my ears off of my head. <laughs> <laughs> this show is really graphic today <laughs> with the vomiting and the punching myself in the face yes. and you ripping your ears off yes. your head. Jeez. Yeah. I, that's what, so I would go Cinderella just because of that. The voice, the seven dwarves, the evil, the evil queen always trying to kill her. I would and do, she, yeah, I would do Cinderella too. I love that bougie lifestyle. <laughs> what does that even mean? She, like you said, she likes expensive things. Yeah, look at her ride, that carriage. Psh. Yeah, exactly. Come on. The fairy godmother would get a little annoying, but. Yeah, 
Exactly. Button in all the time. Yeah. But a dream I think is a wish your heart makes. Overall, probably Cinderella for me too. Okay, your next one. I mean, my, but my other question is, what happens to her at midnight every night? Like, does she change? Like, mm. or is she just always Cinderella now? Like, she's. Not I think she's just back. always Cinderella now that Prince Charm kissed her or whatever. And see, like, what's the deal with her with Prince Charming and Snow White's dude? Well, you definitely wouldn't be Prince Charming. Are they still? Are they still in the picture? No. Are they like. Uh, well, you'd like, be marrying them. Is it complex? You, yeah, you Am I wouldn't marrying them after. Like, have they gotten divorced from their people, from their guys? Like, well, what's the situation here? Um, yeah, I didn't think this through, did you, Kaylee? No, but you're <laughs> not. You're not. You wouldn't be them. So it would either be. I mean, they'd have to be divorced unless they live in. I mean, they live in a fantasy world, so they could have two husbands. Wow. So, would that lead to a reality show on TLC? For sure. Oh, man. My big so, like, fat fairy tale wedding. <laughs> <laughs> so, I would not have to compete with those guys. So, I guess that. So, I would still stay with Cinderella then. If you did have to compete? Didn't have to compete with those well, guys. Well, what if you did? Oh, man. See, I feel like Prince Charming is kind of like a wuss. He's kind of like a pretty boy. Would you rather... No, this is tough, Kaylee. Are you ready? You ready for this? I'm a little scared. (sighs) Would you rather have a lifetime annual pass to Disney World without a park hopper, without a park hopper, okay? Or a lifetime annual pass to Universal Studios with fast pass with unlimited fast passes. So, Disney World un, uh, Disney World annual pass for life, but with that you can't park hop with it. Or annual a lifetime annual pass to Universal Studios with lifetime fast passes. Um I would still choose Disney because I don't park hop often because I live here. So I usually just go and do one park at a time. Just throw that out there again. We get it. You live there. Jeez. <laughs> so I would definitely choose that. As far as Universal, I could get the, I could buy the annual pass myself and get the one with unlimited fast passes after 4 p.m. or whatever. So if I really wanted it, but I would still choose Disney over Universal because it's Disney. Okay. All right. All right. What about you? So Universal used to always be my favorite when I was growing up. Universal Studios, which it's not even close to what it is now. Like it was way better back in the day. You had Nick Studios. Um, it, the Jimmy Neutron ride. I miss that ride. And before that, it was Hanna Barbera. So it was like the Jetsons and. Um, I know I have side note my dad did a lot of construction at Universal during that time so we have one of the posters from the Jetsons ride shut up shut your face and we have some of the carpet from uh, the original E.T. carpeting we have a lot of like really cool does it Universal smell like stuff. the E.T. ride no um, oh, my dad also built Jimmy Neutron so yeah I have a lot of nostalgia with That's like so old awesome. school Universal, but yeah. That's so awesome. I, it was awesome. Universal sucks now. Other than Harry Potter stuff, Universal kind of sucks. The only reason that I still love it like I do is because of Halloween Horror Nights. The, the new rides they have, Jimmy Fallon rides, stupid. They're making the same rides over and over again. Like they already had Spider-Man and then they made Transformers, which is the same ride. And then they made Jimmy Fallon, which is basically the same ride. And then they made Fast and Furious, which is basically the same ride. Like they're just all so similar. Like I'm sick of riding rides that are in front of a screen. Like give me, like I don't need that. Give me something real. If... if... I think it's just because I loved Universal so much back in the day. Like I would, oh man, it was just it was just a different place. And those of you that grew up Nickelodeon kids, you guys you guys know that this Universal Orlando was like the place, the mecca you wanted to go to. So I would have to go Disney because 
there's at all four parks there's nothing that I'm just like this sucks like Universal I'm like this sucks that's what this I'm saying sucks. like the this fact isn't good. the fact that I couldn't park hop doesn't even phase me because I could go tomorrow and do right like, and same thing if you come on vacation even if you can't park hop like you have a neck like you have the next day to do mm-hmm. it so right yeah, and totally. you could always you could always visit Universal for the day, and that's probably enough to last you two years. Like, oh yeah, Chris and I were annual pass holders at Universal for a year, for two years, two years, one year, and we would go, and we would ride the Harry Potter rides, and we'd ride a couple other rides, and just be like, all right, I'm kind of done, and and like be done with it, like halfway through the day, and then go to Disney Springs that night or something like that. Like it just and I remember going to Universal when Islands had just opened back when I was in high school and thinking that it was the coolest part because Marvel Island was amazing and the Dueling Dragons ride was so cool and Jurassic Park and um, all that stuff. But like they should they should have just turned the whole park just into a Harry Potter thing. Now, back in the day, back when uh, J.K. Rowling was looking at giving the rights to a, a theme park like Disney – and Universal were going at it to get Harry Potter. And um, the way that it happened that Universal got them is that Disney wanted to be able to put Disney things in Hogsmeade and in Diagon Alley. Whereas Universal was like, you can, we don't have to put anything Universal related in there. Disney would have ruined Harry Potter. Yeah. And then look at Pandora. You don't see Disney stuff in Pandora. They learned their lesson. Can you imagine though? Can you imagine, just for a second, if Disney had gotten Harry Potter, and if it was still the same that Universal made it? They would ru- they would ruin it. Not saying that Disney ruined Star Wars, but they would spit out a bunch of Harry Potter movies like they've been spitting out a bunch of Star Wars movies. But I'm talking they just would the have park. ruined it. Just the park, not the movies. I'm talking about the park. No, yeah, they still they still would. There, I don't I. There's not one thing at Diagon Alley or Hogsmeade or any of those places at Universal and Islands Adventure that I would change. I think they did such a phenomenal job. Oh, there's stuff at Islands Adventure I would change tomorrow. I Well, they're already working on that. Like, they already closed Duel and Dragons to fix that up. Like, they, that one is still working on, like, being worked on. But I just can't imagine, like, Disney living up to that. But but if Disney had gotten Harry Potter, it would have literally bankrupted Universal. Universal would not be around today. What about Volcano Bay? <sighs> See, I haven't been, but it looks so stinking awesome. It's amazing. Real, t- like, real talk here. I've never been to a water park ever. We've talked about this before. Me and right. you have. But and I know it, you've never been, but there's like... Awesome. it's. It is seriously amazing. Like, just beautiful. I mean, the water rides, like, are so fun. But, I mean, the water rides at Disney are fun as well. But I just think as far as, like, theming and just aesthetically pleasing and modern, they just, like, hit the nail right on the head. And they're supposedly building, like, I think Universal is really trying to, like, build themselves back up, like, building another um, hotel. And there is, like, there's always been a rumor that they're going to try to do a Harry Potter-themed hotel, so I don't know. I there's yeah. you know I I still like Universal and Islands Adventure and Volcano Bay and Halloween Horror Nights and all that stuff, but it's just not like Disney for me. Yeah, yeah. I think Disney has the nostalgia factor. If Universal still had Nickelodeon and all that kind of thing, I think they would have a lot more of the nostalgia with it. But the only thing that's left is ET. That's the only thing that's left there. Yeah, I mean, the only nostalgia that I have with Universal is growing up my whole life. Like, my family had Universal passes, and we would go so often, you know, with my parents, my sister, my aunt and uncle had passes for a while, and we would all go. So I think that's the only, like, nostalgia I have is, like, a lot of my childhood memories are spent at Universal. I had a lot of, like, birthdays at Universal, but things have changed since then, so... Yeah, and if you are feeling nostalgic after listening to this, go to YouTube and check out Adam the Woo, his video of... He actually snuck into Nickelodeon Studios several years ago, and, like, 
it was really awesome. He's now banned from Universal, but <laughs> it's a See, really great See, that's just not worth it for me. Like, no, I know I don't not. go all the time, but it's not worth it for me to never be able to go again. But it's really cool to watch, so you should check I, that out. I had, had a friend. another awesome dude. I had a friend who got caught underage drinking. Not a good idea, kids. Do not follow in his example at Universal. And got kicked out for a year. Like, a year wow. is such a long time. Like, couldn't go to Halloween Horror Nights. Like, couldn't do any. Like, I just can't imagine being kicked out of a place for doing something so silly like that. Like, underage drinking or breaking into somewhere where you know you're not supposed to go. Like, it's just not worth it. Adam the Woo also went to River Country. Like, the uh, I remember that water park. He's, he got trespassed from Disney and Disneyland for that for, like, a couple years. Several years. No. Um, but that video is still out there and it's pretty cool to look at too. <laughs> I want to watch that Nickelodeon Studio was. Anyways, we're getting yeah, like so I'll far off. Okay, so my last one is Would you rather ride Rock and Roller Coaster 10 times in a row or Star Tours? Oh my gosh. And I know they both kind of make you sick. So. Oh. <laughs> Like 10, ten times, times row, like back to back to back to back. Like, like not getting off the ride, like just. Yeah, just like on. straight riding it. Like, wow. I mean, obviously, like you would have a little break for them to like go through the loading station because they have to slow down for that at Rock and Roller Coaster and like reboot the video that plays during Star Tours. Like that would only be your little break, but you're not getting off. You're sitting in the same spot riding it 10 times in a row. Dude, that's those are both a nightmare. That would both be a nightmare. Like, I love the, both of them. Like, I'll ride them. But I don't know that I could do... I think Star Tours, I would get sicker faster. I agree. And Rock and... Okay, I'll let you choose first. I think I would get sicker faster with Star Tours. Are they back to... On Star Tours, are they back to having the ride be different every time? Are they back to that yet? Are they still doing the same... You get the same one every time again, still... I think it depends on, I don't know. I think it depends on what lane you're in. Because if you, if, 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 because there for a while, Star Tours was all about like, because when um, The Last Jedi came out, they were about showing off the new planet that's from, that's in The Last Jedi and stuff like that. And they changed it from Darth Vader to Kylo Ren. Yeah. So if they're still with, it's the same thing every time, that would drive me crazy. But if it's the one that changes every time, that would be cool. Um, but it do, it makes me nauseous really fast. If I if I had to ride it more than once in a day, I think I would get super nauseous on it. Rock and roller coaster, it's just a lot to think about, like riding that ten times over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. I don't know if my heart could take that. I don't know if anyone's heart could take that. <laughs> but I'm actually, I'm gonna let you choose first before I say anything. I think I would rather ride rock and roll. No, I don't know. It goes upside down a lot. I think I would do Star Tours, but because I, I think eventually, like, I would just get used to it, and I could keep my eyes closed, and I'm not going upside down. I think I would just do Star Tours. I would choose Rock and Roller Coaster because it's a much shorter ride. Like Star Tours to me is a like a really long ride. It's long. And yeah, to true. be on that like 10 times would just be so long. Like I would definitely do rock and roller coaster. It's, it's so short. And that's kind of sad to say, cause people wait like three hours for that ride. But yeah, definitely rock and roller coaster for me just because of the length of it. Like you could ride that 10 times and be done in 30 minutes. Star tours would probably be like an hour. <laughs> that's a tough one. That was a tough question. That was probably the toughest one. That we had tonight. Really? I was thinking this whole time that I came up with like the worst ones, but I'm actually pretty proud because we had like, you know. Those are tough. Yeah. So I think next time we're going to make a post that, hey, we're going to do another one of these shows and we want you guys to send us w some of your would you rathers and then we'll give those to each other. That's yeah, what we're going to do. That would, be, be cool. that would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know that someone's going to come up with some really cool ones out there we'll post this on instagram and on our personal instagrams inside walt's vault living at disney um so that we can get a lot of interaction from you guys that way too 
And that's the show. If you enjoyed our show, we'd love for you to subscribe and share this with all of your friends. If you have any questions for us, email us at waltzworldpodcast at gmail.com or hit us up on Instagram at waltzworldpodcast. We'd love to hear from you. So with that, I'm Kaylee. And I'm John. We'll see you next week. (laughs) I was about to say it because I didn't think you were going to say it. (laughs) We'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. (laughs) Ew, is that supposed to be me? (laughs) (laughs) 